Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another week of evangelism training, walking in relationship with the Holy Spirit or miracle evangelism is really just walking with the person that we know. It all comes from knowing him personally. These videos are here to help train and equip the everyday believer, no matter who you are. If you know the Lord, you can introduce people to the to um, Jesus Christ. They can be born again and made disciples. So today we're going to be talking about Paul says it this way, that I might become all things to all men, that I might win some. So we're going to talk about that scripture. Paul goes on to say, say that he runs the race to win with every step with purpose. So <clears throat> we're going to talk about some things that are going to help equip you walk in purpose, but share the gospel. I'm here with my beloved pastor, mighty man of God, Pastor Jay. I'm Ryan Adcock, and we're so glad to be here today to share the gospel with you. I love doing these videos because we're here to teach, train, and equip you and inspire your faith to get out and share Jesus with the world around you. And you have it in you. You are an ambassador of Christ, called by God, equipped by God, empowered by His Spirit to be bold. This is what they prayed in Acts chapter 4. Make us bold that we may share your word with all boldness. Amen. Wow. Speak in the name of Jesus with all. So that's us. That's Amen. who we are. Amen. It's what we do. That's who you are. It's what that's you right. do. And uh, we're looking for opportunities to get out in the world around us and to share Jesus. <sighs> Man, that's so good. So that scripture where it says he became all things to all men. Mm. I like the New Living Translation and this is, again, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, starting in verse 22. I'm going to jump to where the point is here, right? Yes, I try to find common ground with everyone doing everything I can that I might save some. I do everything to spread the gospel, the good news, and share in its blessings. He goes on to say, don't you realize in every race there's only one winner, so run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. Verse 26, so I run with purpose in every step. Now, what are we talking about? We're talking about being relatable to people, not stand up where you're looking down on people and not looking unworthy. Yeah. That's religion. That's religion. What are we doing? We're finding a common ground with every people. Christians are not supposed to be weird. Jesus was not weird. Now, why am I saying that? You don't want to be so far unrelatable that you can't even have a conversation with someone. My motive is not, I'm not looking at someone, I got to get them born again, I got to get them born No, I want to know who they are. I want to find a common ground, and I'm going to share a testimony that's going to help highlight what I'm talking about. We're out knocking on doors yesterday on our Saturday outreaches. We make a time and a place to go out and share the gospel, right? Well, I come to a porch. I got my Spanish-speaking friend, uh, Joe Ash. He's with me. He's talking to another gentleman. This guy's given his life to Jesus, had never been born again. I'm talking to the wife, and she's never been set free from the gospel, and I'm praying with her. But then they go on to talk about their child this and that and blah, blah, he's this and that. Talking about how bad he is and this and that. And I'm like, glory. You know, I'm thinking, I don't really want to hear this because I'm looking at, I'm like, no, that's not him. That's not what the father says, but I'm not trying to get into it. Well, guess who pulled up? The son pulls up in the driveway. And as I, he said, oh, let him come up here. I said, no, I'll be right back. I had them take the conversation. Pastor Jay, I engaged this young man at the door. Now I'm, I'm talking to him. It's just, a, hey, I'm Ryan. We're just out talking to people, we've met your parents, and I start talking to him, and the Holy Spirit gave me something. You know the Holy Spirit will talk to you and give you something about that person. And you know what I said? I said, man, I, I just want to say that, that the Father, God, loves you. Jesus came and paid a high price for your life. But did you know, I see why you get in trouble a lot of times, because you're just plain bored. And this young kid, 19 years old, looks like he's trying to stand out in his appearance, but you know what? He's got a heart and God loves him. So I, he said, man, you actually got it. And I said, let me tell you this, young man, you can run your whole life and do it your way. But I want to introduce you to Jesus. He changed my life. I'm not talking about a religion. Now, what am I trying to do? I'm talking down religion that says I'm either better than him or I'm not worthy. 
No, I'm a born again believer myself and I want to bring him home to a father that loves him. So as I shared a gospel to the same one that his mom was saying he was the devil, gave his life to Jesus. And now that 19 year old knows that Jesus is Lord. Why? Because I found a common ground to meet a young man. I didn't try to stand out. Pastor Jay, I just want you to comment on that. You're out there with me every weekend and you're being relatable to people all the time. I think you really know that when you said religion wants to puff yourself up and look down on others. Uh, but Jesus, he didn't go and call the qualified. He qualified the call, right? He, the, the called, he, he, he saw how can I lift people up? Yeah. So when we're sharing Jesus with people, when we take that same attitude, that we're not, we're not looking down upon somebody, we're actually looking for common ground so that we might empower them to let the Lord pull them up, pull them up into salvation, pull them up into righteousness, pull them up into a higher way of life. And uh, the Holy Spirit will help you. You know, I watched Mark Hankins, uh, one of my mentors. He's almost, well now he is, he's 70 years old. I watched him a few years ago do a youth conference. And I thought to myself, how cool is God to have somebody in their 70s that the world would call unrelatable, right? <laughs> unrelatable to youth. He's 70 years old. He's a, he's a grandfather, getting ready to become a great grandfather in the next couple of years. And what's he, what's he, you know, how can he relate to you? You know what he started doing? He started telling stories about when he was a teenager. Wow, that's being relatable. <laughs> that's relatable. So it really doesn't matter what, how, how old you are. So now I'm 47. I'm still doing youth conferences, right? So I learn from him. If I'm talking to the third graders, I just tell stories about being in third and fourth grade. That's right? powerful. You become all things to all people. It doesn't mean that you're changing your character or you're changing. No, you're looking for when, when was I in a similar situation that God did something for me that I can relate to them. And if you really just have a heart, it's really a heart issue, just like everything in and soul winning. That's good. If you have a heart to be relatable and you'll listen to the Spirit of God, he'll bring stuff to your attention that you weren't even planning on saying. That's just really good, Pastor Jay. I think this is where we want to just land this home as we go out this week. Get into conversations with people. Yeah. Find out what they're interested in. Yeah. Let's say you are a football player back in high school or you are a current football player. Let's say they start talking about football and you can let them know that how Jesus changed your life and how you had this football injury one time and the Lord healed you from it. You could talk, you could be relatable in your, I, I didn't play those type of sports, but I'm saying that may be a word for you. Find a common ground in your conversations this week and use the testimony, how you met the Lord for whatever the person is talking about. Now this is what, number one, you're gonna have to do this this week. This is gonna be hard for a lot of us to do. Listen. Yeah. That's good. Don't be the first to talk. Maybe ask questions. Why? Get them engaged. You know, sometimes when we knock on the door, we don't have a lot of time because we need to tell them why we're there, really. But, but when we're out this week, you're not going to always be door knocking. It's about when you're in relationship with the person in front of you. Mm -hmm. Number one, listen. Ask questions. And then when the, the moment comes where the Holy Spirit gives you something to tell them about mm -hmm. how the Lord touched your life, and relate that with them. And I want to challenge every person this week. I want you to talk about how the Lord has done something good in your life. Be a light into this world. Let's just start there. Now for the bold ones that go ahead, I want you to say, when did you give your life to Christ? Or why not today surrender your life to Jesus? And you know what? You can lead them through a small prayer. Father, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. I want to give my life to you. I'm sorry for my past. Forgive me. I want to live for you the rest of my life. Start out with that. I encourage you this week, you're going to see people born again. Why? Because you're not going to be abnormal, uncommon. And let me tell you, if you don't have a lot of people talking to you and you're, you don't have that many friends, that's on you. Be friendly. If you start being friendly, watch what happens. You'll get in conversations. I promise you this week, if you're friendly and you go out and love people, God's going to open a door for you to find a common ground for you to relate it to the person that they were talking to. Amen, Pastor Jay. How's that sound? So good. It's grace. God working in us. Amen. It's his supernatural ability. You, you and God working together, co-laboring. Why don't you pray us out for us to be engaged with people this week and to find common ground? I will. And I'll, I'll say this. 
God has gifted us this way. So I believe this anointing will get on you. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I pray that you lead us and guide us in all that we do as we set our heart to be used by you. Father, give them insight from heaven with boldness that they may speak to each person with a confidence knowing they have what they need. They have the supply of heaven to be given out and distributed to all around. I ask it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. Guys, we love you. Please leave testimonies. Reach out to me. We love you. And again, if you're in Danville, Kentucky, or want to make a trip down here on Saturdays, we start at one o'clock. We start praying at two o'clock. We meet for us teaching and equipping. We go out and do outreach. We come back and share testimonies. And there's also a time of discipleship. If you ever want to see what that's like, come join us. But if you can't make it, use these videos. And I promise you to this week, if you step out, we want to hear about it. But not only that, if you step out, let the Holy Spirit give you the words. But let me tell you this. If you know him, you can introduce him to others. We love you guys and we'll see you back next week.